Okay, um, another thing that this lady told me uh, was that in the future, uh, life and creativity is only going to be possible in Australia because everything else is going to shift into descending arcs, AI um, controlled, uh, iconic bullshit. And she said Australia was the only place that would be safe to be and you needed to finish the process in Australia. Um, when I was in my uh, paranoid state of being and I tried to escape when I was felt trapped in Germany and I felt like I needed to escape somewhere um, which could have possibly been me seeing the future. I don't know. I can't. Uh, I can't say that right now. Or it could have been a paranoid delusion, or it could have been whatever. But um, I remember having this huge sense that I needed to get out of this fucking country. Um, so I think I told this story before in another video. So I went to the airport, and. Um, I drove there in a fucking panic. It was just like, I need to get out of here. And I, I hadn't slept properly in weeks, so I was exhausted. Um, so I went and I bought a ticket to Australia, to Brisbane. And my mom was there at the time, I think, too. Um, and unfortunately, because I did something bad... Um, I uh, I had taken some money from my dad, which um, was an act of desperation because I needed to get out of there. Um, and I borrowed the car from my sister. I was only gone for like four, five, six hours. But um, when I went to the customs control, or I think even at the gate, I think I told this story before. Police stopped me, and I really want—I really wanted to go and escape to Australia. Australia was always my favorite country, and I wanted to go there. Anyways, um, the impressions that I got at the Frankfurt Airport was this huge sense of disorientation, and like the way that the parking lot is built is just—and I had all these like visions and images of not visions and images, but instincts of people fleeing um, in masses, trying to escape. And um, I don't know what that was. That could have been absolute fucking bullshit, nothing. Um, or it could have been something that might happen. I don't know. The future will tell. And it's irrelevant uh, because nothing came out of it. But my family reported me missing. And it was so weird because I really wanted to go to Australia. And even when I was with um, possibly my twin flame, I knew that at some point in the future it was my task to go to Australia. Like, I had to go to Australia. Well... So now I can't physically go to Australia right now because you need proof of vaccination and you need a ton of money and I am in a wheelchair and uh, it's not that easy anymore to just go to places. Um, to top it all off, I was put in a psych ward. Um, anyways, talking about Australia, um, it feels like a part of my energy has gone to Australia now. Um, not how I intended, not how I wanted to. Um, but yeah, people always take what they want and I don't know. It was really weird. Like I sent her a friend request um, yesterday and... First she added me, then I couldn't send her a message because she she didn't have the button uh, to do so. So I wrote a comment under one of her pictures and asked her if I could contact her. And she's like, yeah, sure. And I said, there's no button. Then it was really weird. Then all of a sudden, 
all the comments that we had exchanged underneath the picture had disappeared. I couldn't find her in my friends list anymore, so she must have defriended me. Then, all of a sudden, I felt something out of my heart go. And then she sent me a message. No, she sent me a new friend request, a message request, and said to me, Oh, now I've found you. And I, felt, I thought that wording was so interesting because I feel lost. Um, anyways, um, if she didn't do anything bad, then I'm sorry, then I will show remorse and apologize. But if she did, then she is not a good person and she Well, it's really painful to have things taken from you. I mean, I can't feel the pain, which is probably better that way because otherwise I would be crying the whole time. <clears throat> but so much for trusting people and I had my hesitations when I first met her, and again, I should have listened. But when you're desperate, you have to trust people even though you don't trust them. Just like with the parents. When you're dependent on help and you have no choice, you're fucking ruined. It's the same as in this stupid psych ward where um, at first I did not trust the psychotherapist. And I should have listened to that because now it's like I go to, to the office and a part of me shows up that's super trusting and tells her the stuff and is very honest. And it's always almost like, a, like this is pro, it's programmed this way because that little trusting part of me is not connected to my core self. And so I blindly trust And then I get destroyed. <clears throat> this is like a, a very new form of warfare, I find. It's like psychological torture. And um, I always said too that the people in power, they know exactly how to steer the masses. They know exactly how to steer the masses. They know what traumas people have, how they go, who they do, which way they go, blah, 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 blah. And I feel like as much as I don't want to admit that, they've been doing the same with me. It's like, it's really funny. Like, I, 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 for a while I kept hearing this voice in my head that said, oh, everything's going to get better, don't worry. Everything's going to get better, don't worry. And I was just like, oh, okay, okay. Or so-and-so is going to help you. So-and-so is going to help you. And then I sense them in my energy field taking shit from me. And so there's a lot of trickery and a lot of
a lot of fucking weirdness. Also, outside, they've just been talking about hair the whole time. That seems to be a thing right now. And I touched my hair and I was just like, yeah, I still have my hair. I have to admit, I'm a little bit paranoid that my sister is trying to steal my hair. <laughs> I know that sounds funny. Uh, I'm nowhere and I could be completely out for lunch. That's okay. Um... Okay, that's enough for now. This is enough for now.